morning y'all. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to um, put an insert in a, an older style muzzle, one that does not have the slots. Um, this version will work for the horse or the pony size. Um, the mini size, you actually don't need to have slots for the um, leather insert that we have to be compatible with it. Um, so good news there. And um, yeah, so you'll know if you have the slots by looking around this bottom edge. And if you do, you'll see slots that look like this. This is the pony size. Um, and the horse size is pretty similar. Um, but I'm gonna be showing in the horse size today, but it works exactly the same if you have a pony size that doesn't have the slots. So what you're gonna do um, and what you need for this project is you need the mini size insert. Um, believe it or not, the mini size actually fits really nicely um, in both the other two sizes. Um, and um, it should come with four zip ties. Um, so you'll need four zip ties. And then there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you the easy way first and then the more, more challenging, uh, not super hard way, but The first way is you can simply just take your zip ties and send them through the corner here and around through this hole and zip tie each corner in. Um, and I recommend that you try to make sure this part of the zip tie is somewhere where it's not right on this outer edge um, because if they like rub another horse or rub up against you, these actually can be kind of like sharp and be a little painful. So you might be able to like tuck them um, somewhere where they're not gonna hurt the horse's teeth either or um, hurt their gums. Um, but that's the first option is you can just do that. The um, downside of that option is that this will have a little bit of movement. Um, and there's a potential for things to kind of get stuck between the two layers, um, but that's still an option. And in the pony size, it will be, it will sit a little more flush, um, even if you just go through the corners. So actually with the pony size, that might be a fine option to do. Um, and if you're having issues with this fitting in there well, you can soak it in warm water and then kind of like push it in there and it will mold to the bottom of the muzzle a little better. that I really like. It does take a few supplies, but um, it's pretty easy. Um, all you need is a, a drill or possibly a leather punch. I'm going to try to do it both ways. Um, believe it or not, if you have like a decent leather punch, it should be able to punch a hole in the muzzle. And so all we're going to do is we're just going to be punching a hole down here. Um, kind of like right in the corner in all four holes just to give a spot for that zip tie to go through so that when we pull the zip tie tight it will hold everything really flush so I think if I can get that right in there so I'm gonna go like right on the corner um, and see I don't have a lot of wiggle room oh, that actually did way better than I was anticipating. So I have a little hole. Um, these are very tiny zip ties. The ones that come with yours will probably be bigger. Um, what I was hoping is that I could get this hole big enough that I could actually um, have this little piece in there. It doesn't look like it's quite big enough, so I'm going to move to the next hole up. Um, and you can get different size zip ties if you want to try that. Um, my horse is just really <laughs> aggressive sometimes. Not aggressive, but he likes to rub his face on me. And I know if any part of a zip tie is like out here, he's going to like, I don't know, use it as a weapon. <laughs> um, so let's see. Well, I'll do all the holes first and then I'll do two with the leather punch and then two with the with the drill, so you can kind of see both versions. But I'm actually really pleased how this is working um, and that I can actually get my hole punch in there um, thanks to those little corner openings. So there's my second hole. Um, and then, oops, for the drill. Um, 
And the drill bit size that I'm using is a quarter inch. Um, and I think this hole punch, maybe not quite a quarter inch. Yeah, it's not quite a quarter inch. And when you do use the hole punch on this, the holes aren't as big as the punch, usually because it kind of like expands and contracts a little bit. Um, okay. So the easiest way is if you just like put it in the corner and then do it that way. And I might need to have something to like press this onto. Um, normally I would not do this on my table. So the hole punch is actually faster today. Um, I think my poor quarter inch drill bit that I have used and abused is a little worn out. There we go. All right. So you can see that hole is just like slightly bigger. I do have some like little plastic stuff sticking out there, um, which I can clean up um, with like little razor blade um but actually I'm only gonna do one like that because that was actually way harder than doing it this way so I'm gonna do the last one like this um which is good anytime that something is a little simpler with a tool that probably I mean most people probably have a drill around their form but I guarantee most more horse people have access to a hole punch So there we have it, just like four little holes. And then you'll just pop that in there. And um, I'm trying to decide where I want to get my little um, the little housings to sit. I think I'm gonna just see if I can't pull them between so they're like, um, down in the corner of the muzzle where the horse can't get their teeth or lips, but, and like below the surface of the leather. I don't know if that makes sense. I will show you. Um, so you're gonna slide. I just put like the tail of my zip tie down through the hole and then pulled it up through um, the muzzle hole and the insert hole. that one I'm gonna leave it a little loose for now and if you want to soak the insert like it has in the instructions for when you get it set up um, what that will do is when you pull your zip ties really tight they'll actually kind of squish down into the insert um, which will make them kind of like almost sit flush with the surface because the leather um, is kind of when it gets wet, it gets a little moldable, if that makes sense. Um, and so it will kind of take shape. I also, I like to wet them either way before using them because what happens is when they dry, it kind of like creates a little bit um, shinier surface. And I feel like when you soak it in the warm water, um, it almost like condenses the leather a little bit more. So it makes the insert a little more durable, but um, and then when their like saliva is introduced and they start using it, it creates this really nice, um, durable, but very slippery surface, which is kind of like the design when it came to us developing this for toothwear is to make like a nice slippery surface for their teeth to slip across instead of be able to like dig their teeth into, um, if that makes sense. So, um, go. And something to remember also, sometimes when you cut the little tails off of your zip ties, though that, those areas can actually be pretty sharp. So again, I like to make sure they're tucked in somewhere where they're not gonna be hurting the horse's lips. Um, you can always like tape over them. You could actually run a loop of electric tape like around the corners or something. I don't know how long that would last. Um, but that is an option as well. Um, typically 
the horses aren't able to get their teeth deep into the corners of the muzzle just because of the shape of their mouth um, and because of the corners. So there's that. Um, now I'm gonna go through, and this is the point where I would maybe soak it if I hadn't started with it um, being soaked. I'm just gonna pull, pull those snug and we'll pretend that I already soaked this. Um, and then I'll just go in with some scissors, which I do not have. They're not very good scissors, but we'll see if they get the job done. Um, and I can probably pull these tighter. Definitely if I had soaked it, I could pull them tighter. But I'm just going to clip this ends off. And now the sharp ends are kind of poking into the muzzle. Um, and I'm just gonna press those down and hope that they stay rotated like that. Um, Cause I think that's gonna be the safest spot for them to be where they're not hurting my horse or myself or any other horse out in the field. Um, I love zip ties, they're very handy, but they can also pose a pretty big like scratch uh, hazard so I'm always really careful with my zip tie placement. Um, these scissors are awful. Um, hey, here we go. Um, this is my exact my friend. He's going to help us out. Come on. Okay, well this part should not take as long as it's taking me. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, just have some better scissors. It's like with every barn, all of my scissors have disappeared this week and I don't know what happened to them, so. Um, apparently my exacting my blade is also dull. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm usually really good at this kind of thing. Okay, there we go. Um, so there we have it. Uh, hopefully you don't struggle as much with the last word as me. I'm gonna tuck all this in there. Um, and kind of like check them daily. Um, if you do cut them off short and then you find that they've loosened, um, sometimes you can get like a little needle nose plier and grab that little nub and like uh, cinch them a little tighter. Um, but it's in there really good and I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. Um, so yeah, check this out. Uh, this is a really good option if you want to use the uh, insert in an older style muzzle without the slots. All right, so I just wanted to show you all um, what the same insert looked like in a, a pony size muzzle. And you can see that on this one, um, I actually didn't drill the holes. Um, I just sent the zip ties around the corners. Now there would still be room to drill the holes if you wanted to. Um, and that would be nice because you could really sink those zip ties in a little deeper and have probably a better spot to hide um, this part that can get a little sharp and pokey. Um, but if you don't wanna fool with that and you just want something that pops in really simply, um, this might be a really great option for you. And similarly, if you wanted to use our um, uh, regular uh, soft insert, the plasticky rubber <laughs> type ones, um, you could do basically the same thing with that. Um, you could either drill the hole in the corner of the muzzle and send the zip tie through both on the horse size and the pony size. Now, when it came to the diet insert, you would have to probably also drill a hole through the, uh, the diet insert because those come down all the way to here and we probably don't want to zip tie um, that close to where a horse's teeth can get. Typically, their teeth can't quite get into these corners. Um, but all you would need for those is to just cut the tabs off, which you can actually do with, if you have like a good pair of scissors, you just trim the little tabs off. I went ahead and just grabbed one so I could show you. So you would just use scissors to trim all of these tabs off. Um, and then 
uh, this is actually the horse size one, um, but you can see how there's nowhere to send a zip tie through that's close in the corner. So you would likely need to drill a hole in the corner here as well. Um, and honestly, for the pony size, I don't know, I would probably just drill a hole through the insert and then just send it through the corner like I did here and just do that in all four corners for the horse size um, where this lip sticks up a little bit higher you might want to also drill a hole through the muzzle um, and that'll just help it kind of seat better and not move around as much but in the regular insert um, it will fit really similar to this um, and follow the curvature of the current muzzle holes so um, you wouldn't need to drill through the insert if you were using the regular versus the diet um, and so that's a pretty easy install as well So, and really for the horse size, if you didn't want to drill the holes in the muzzle, you could insert it just like this. Um, there's just a chance that it would kind of shift around a little bit just because that lip sits a little bit higher so it wouldn't stay flat pressed to the bottom of the muzzle, um, which might be fine. Um, it would probably allow for some like dirt and stuff to get stuck between the layers. So you would want to keep an eye on that and make sure it stays clean. But um, if you don't want to um, drill holes in the muzzle or don't have access to tools to do that, um, then that might be a really great option for you as well. But this is a pretty easy option um, that you can do with a drill or even a um, leather hole punch and still be able to access all of our inserts. I have not tried a leather hole punch on this uh, black material. I would think it would still work. Um, I have tried, you shouldn't need to drill holes in this one. Um, I have tried a leather punch on this material. It is very hard. Um, it can be done, but you need someone with really strong hands um, because it's a really thick, durable leather. But anyway, I just wanted to throw out all the options um, because I know some people still have our older style muzzles that don't have these slots. And, um, you know, we want to have these inserts be accessible to them as well. So good luck and I hope it works out really well for you.